Hello students, welcome to my class. Today, let us learn one of the important concept from English grammar that is parts of speech. Dear students, we all know that while speaking or while writing, we use different kinds of words. And these words should be arranged in proper way. A words which arranged in a proper way and it gives a meaning, then we call it as a sentence. Right? Whether these words we use, this is divided, it is divided into different groups in English grammar. This classification of words is known as parts of speech. This classification of words are known as parts of speech. There are totally eight parts of speech. Let us know about that. First one is a noun. What is noun? Noun is a naming word. Noun is a naming word. A name of a person, place, thing, animal is known as a naming word. For example, Raj, Sita, Rahu, Hanaba, Mysore, School, Hospital, Book, Man. These are all known as a noun. The next one is a pronoun. What is pronoun? Pronoun is a word which we use instead of a noun. Pronoun is a word which we use instead of a noun. For example, I, he, she, it, they, we, these are all known as a pronoun. The next third one is a verb. Then what is verb? Verb is an action word. A word which shows the action is known as verb. For example, Raj kicks the ball. Raj kicks the ball. Here, what action done by the Raj? He kicks the ball. Kicks is a word which describe, which shows the action of the Raj. So, the word which shows the action is known as verb. The next one is an adjective. Then what is adjective? Adjective is a describing word. A word which describes the noun is called as an adjective. For example, Gita is a clever girl. Gita is a clever girl. Your word clever describes how Gita is. So, a word which describes the noun is called as an adjective. Then next one is an adverb. Adverb is also describing verb. But it describes verb is called as a describing verb. A word which describes the verb is called as a describing verb. For example, he is writing neatly. He is writing neatly. Here, Neatly is a word which describes which describes how he writes. The action, it describes the action done by the him. For example, very fast, fastly, uh, nicely, neatly. These are all example for a adverb. But it should describe the verb. The next one is the preposition. Then what is preposition? Your students, a word which creates a relationship between a noun or a pronoun and another word in a sentence is called as a preposition. A word which creates a relationship between a noun or a pronoun and another word in a sentence is called as a preposition. For example, book is on the table. The book is on the table. On is a word which creates the relationship between the different words in a sentence. So, like this only, under, up, down, near, 
before, after. These are all example for a preposition. The next one is a conjunction. Then what is conjunction? Conjunction is a verb which we call it as a connecting verb or a joining verb. For example, it joins the different nouns or a different pronouns or a noun or a pronoun or a different sentence. For example, and, but, because, these are the words or example for a conjunction. Then, next and the last one is the interjection. Then what is interjection? Interjection is a word which expresses sudden and strong feeling. For example, when you see something, a beautiful thing, you, you used to say, wow. Yes, the word wow is a noun as a interjection. Interjection is a word which doesn't have a meaning, but it comes out of our mouth with a sudden feeling or a surprise or we feel sad. It comes suddenly. It is a strong feeling which comes out, which expressed by us. So, it doesn't have a meaning, but it, we, we use in a sentence. For example, who, alas, ouch, wow, these are all examples for an interjection. Dear students, this is all about the parts of speech. Briefly, you come to know about different parts of speech. That is noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and a interjection. Dear student, revise this. Let us learn deeply one by one in the next class. Till then, take care and have a nice day. Bye.